What's up guys, here's Twin here, hope you're doing well, in today's video we're gonna be building a 2 liter very big turbo engine, let's get into it! So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna select the inline 4 setup with magnesium as a block material and dual overhead cam 4 valves per cylinder, ALSI as a material plus 15 quarter. But let's still crank lightweight titanium corn rods, forged pistons, balance shafts, plus 15 quality. VVT on all cams, RPM limit, we'll get back to that one. Next up, turbos. Single turbo, smart boost, plus 15 quality, fuel system. Direct injection, per cylinder, race configuration. This thing's gonna be ran on a pretty spicy fuel. We're gonna be running on a methanol, plus 15 quality exhaust. Going with a race header, no cat, no first muffler, no second muffler, plus 15 quality. Let's admire what it looks like. I actually like where it's positioned. And uh, we're going to be messing with this thing to get it over 1700 horsepower is the goal for this engine. And that is crazy. Let's start with that. So, the first thing we're going to get into now is changing the year up to 2020. Moving the cam profile up between a sporty and a race cam, balance the engine, and this is going to be a 10,000 RPM rev limiter engine, which I can't wait till it sounds like because this thing is going to sound like a absolute ripper. Awesomeness, if you might ask me. Adjusting the compression ratio just a little bit up to 10.5 to 1, and we're going to adjust the timing to advanced check out any potential problems we have, things that are stressed out and moving on from there. Alrighty, so we can see the intake manifold, the exhaust, the header and the compressor is all under stress. First thing we're going to be fixing is the intake manifold, then we're going to fix the exhaust and then we move on from there. That's it, that's looking better. We're up to 744 horsepower. Adjusting the header size as well. Yeah, that's a little too low. I think I'm gonna keep it there. A little more area to work with. Next up, turbo. We're gonna increase the boost way up until we reach, well, our goal. We're almost at 1000 horsepower. We're at 951 horsepower. Over 1000 horsepower now but it's way at the top of our rev range and the engine decided to explode which is not ideal we are working on it very much almost 1200 horsepower or over 1200 horsepower now come on we can do it I need my wonderful 1700 horsepower which is absolutely insane for this type of engine inline 4 making that crazy power yeah that's the way we like doing things. We're up to 1300 horsepower now. Well, we're just below it. Ah, we're over it again. There we go. So I want this thing to spool right around six, five to 6,000 RPM. Just because of simplicity and this isn't a low, low grunt type engine. This is a bonkers to the wall type, set, type situation of engines. I love the way it's doing right now. Over 1,500 horsepower, we're almost to my number. Yeah, we're almost there. Come on, we just a little more. Come on, just a little more. <laughs> Running into some valve float issues. There we go. We're over 1,700 horsepower now. 1,749. Yes. That is absolutely insane. And then the engine decides to break itself. So yeah, 1707 horsepower. That's really awesome. Let's move on to paint. Paint, we're gonna do another chrome engine. This time we're gonna do a purple chrome and everything gets painted purple chrome. Let's get into it. So as you can see this thing is looking beautiful, we're going to do two dyno runs, we're going to do one facing the engine then one facing the graph. Let's see what she sounds like, the moment everybody waits for. Let's go!
holy cow this thing sounds absolutely beautiful as always guys uh, if you like this type of content please let me know down below and always please do consider to like share comment and subscribe because it really helps the channel out as always thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you lovely people in the next video bye guys